Hello, my name is Dione Mejia and I live in Corvallis, Oregon. Today we're going to use our eyes or a magnifying glass to observe really small animals and learn about the natural world. Let's go! Before we begin, go find these items in your house. You'll need paper, a pencil, crayons, and if you have a magnifying glass or hand lens, that will be helpful too. Today we're gonna learn about invertebrates. What are invertebrates? Invertebrates are animals that don't have a backbone or a spinal cord. For example, a spider, a worm, a snail, and a bee are all invertebrates. Let's do an activity. Pause the video now and make a list of invertebrates that you might find on the ground or underground. Now pause the video again and make another list of invertebrates that you might find visiting flowers. Arthropods are one group of invertebrates. They have a body and legs divided into segments. They also have an exoskeleton, which is an outer layer or skeleton that covers and protects their body. Each time an invertebrate grows, it needs to shed its exoskeleton and grow a new one. These are some more examples of arthropods, a crayfish, a bee, a spider, and a centipede. Now, pause the video and answer this question. Which of these arthropods has six legs? Of these arthropods, the bee is the only one that has six legs, and that makes it an insect. The other ones are not insects. Insects are a group of arthropods that have six legs, like this bee. They also have three body segments, which are the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. There is a huge diversity of insects, and many can be found right by your house. For example, a beetle, a butterfly, a bee, a dragonfly, a mosquito, an ant, a cockroach, a grasshopper, or a true bug. Pause the video now and answer this question. Which of these insects have wings? Now pause the video and answer this question. Which of these insects have you seen near a body of water? Now answer this question. Which of these insects have you seen in your house? Now we're going to talk about insect mouths. These insects have piercing and sucking mouths. The assassin bug uses its mouth to eat other insects, for example this fly, and the mosquito uses its mouth to suck blood out of other animals like humans. Now pause the video and look for an object in your house that looks like the mouth of these insects. I chose a pencil because it is sharp like the mouths of these insects. Many insects have chewing mouths called mandibles. Some insects use mandibles to eat other animals, while others eat plants. Now pause the video and look for an object in your house that looks like the mouth of these insects. I chose tweezers because they look like the ants' mandibles. Butterflies and moths have mouths for sucking liquids. They eat nectar from plants using their tubular mouth parts. Pause the video now and look for an object in your house that reminds you of this insect's mouth. I chose a vacuum because it sucks things up, just like the butterfly's mouth. Did you know that flies have mouths that look like sponges? Flies actually spit out a substance that turns their solid food into liquid. Then they use their sponge mouths to drink it up. Pause the video now and look for an object in your house that reminds you of this insect's mouth. 
I chose a loofah because it reminds me of the fly's sponge mouth. Did you know that bees have tongues just like us? Now stick out your tongue just like a bee. Now we're going to review the vocabulary that we learned today. An invertebrate is an animal that does not have a backbone or a spinal cord. An arthropod is an invertebrate that has a segmented body and an exoskeleton. And an exoskeleton is a protective layer for an arthropod that it sheds. Finally, an insect is an arthropod that has six legs and three body segments. Now it's your turn to explore the natural world. Go outside and look for invertebrates with your eyes or a magnifying glass if you have one. On a piece of paper, write down which invertebrates you see, where you see them, and how many you see of each. Then, draw some of the invertebrates that you saw. These are some of the invertebrates that we saw in Oregon and in Guanajuato.